Let's think about this. We defined wing area as a very important uh, parameter and that will chase us throughout the whole E221. Now, wing area is easy to calculate if it is a straight rectangular wing. It's basically span times chord length. Now, if you have a more sophisticated wing like the slick and fast uh, MiG-15 this is, then to calculate this area becomes a bit more challenging. But in fact, it's not that difficult. Let's have a quick look at this rather conventional airplane, which in fact has a rather rectangular wing. And if you compare it like this, I can draw a rectangle around the wing describing its outlines. Now let me copy this quickly to a scratch path so it's easier for our calculations. Stretch a bit here, copy this one, go down here and paste it. And we take it down here a bit and extend it so it's a bit easier to work like that. Good. Now you see we have the outline of this rectangular wing and there's only a small element missing that is here, this part, and the equally sized part over on that side. So these are missing parts of a more or less rectangular wing. Now in this case we can define a couple of parameters. So we go here draw a line from here, sorry, let's be a bit more modest, from here to here, and yes, we call this one the span, wing tip to win wing tip, span. I want to use a small s for the moment. Now, we also can look at a parameter from here to here, which in fact is our chord length, right? So we call this chord length, and I want to use a small C for the moment. Now, if the wing would occupy the whole um, rectangular area, the wing surface area would be easily described as surface area equals span times chord length. Now we need to define two more dimensions. This is the width, I want to call this, of this little triangle, which is identical with the width of this one, and the depth of this little triangle, which is identical with this one. So the two triangles together form another rectangle, and I only have to minus the area of that rectangle from my calculated ideal surface area. So minus W times D. And that actually is the surface area of my wing here. If I assume that this one would be one meter, I actually can put numbers down here. So I can say my surface area equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 meters times chord 1, 2, 3, 3 meters, minus 1, 2, 3 meters width, times 1 meter. Please don't forget to carry along the units of measurement. We cannot do without unit of measurements in physics, and aerodynamics is part of physics. Now that's an easy calculation. The surface area is 3 times 
fourteen uh, forty two correct square meters minus three square meters equals thirty nine square meters. Let's go to the next wing. This is this very slick, slender, high aspect ratio tapered wing. We start from the same assumption. We go here and say this is basically rectangular. Like that. Okay. Then cut this out. Copy this to the next page and paste it. Put it a bit down, enlarge it a bit for easy calculations and start from here. Same story. We define a dimension from the left wing tip to the right wing tip and call this exactly this is our span and this time I only use the small s to remember then we take this dimension from the trailing edge to the leading edge and call this our chord length I use small c so now our wing surface if the wing was occupied on by this uh, rectangle would be S times C. However, we have a missing section which goes from here to here and equally from here to here. Not very nice, my drawings. Maybe I should do this again. From here here. Good. So this part is missing. So we have to find the dimension of this part. Again, I can define from here to here as the width of this part. I use the small w. And from here to here, the depth of this part two times. So I can simply go and minus the rectangular surface, which is two times the triangle, which is width, sorry, width times depth. Now we count the numbers again. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 in this case. So S equals 13 times 1 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.5 times 0.5. Now this is not correct. I should have written, as you know, S equals 13 meters times 1 meter minus 6.5 meters times 0 0.5 meters, which gives me 13 square meters. minus 3.25 square meters equals 9.75 square meters. And that's the way it is.